Chaque mois dans le burger, nous mettons en avant un artiste à part, parfois chelou, mmh. toujours fascinant, et on appelle ça la sauce, car dans le burger, la sauce, c'est ce qui fait toute la différence. Émission spéciale Brit obligée, nous avons jeté une oreille du côté de Manchester, patrie d'Oasis, des Smiths ou encore de Joy Division, et nous avons découvert un certain... David McLean. Il a un label bizarre, il joue du saxophone et il est passionné de films noirs. Il n'en fallait pas plus pour qu'on s'intéresse de très près à lui. C'est notre sauce du mois. Comment avez-vous eu l'idée de créer votre label et quelles étaient vos intentions I knew no one else would be issuing my own music, um, so I took the decision just to, to just do everything myself, complete DIY standpoint. Um, that slowly turned into becoming a full-blown label um, when my friends started knowing that I was putting out records as well and wanted me to do theirs. Uh, in recent years, the label's become completely global, and I think the most important thing for me is that I'm also, as well as representing regional musicians and my friends' music that are based here in Manchester. I'm also putting out just as much music from the international community, especially from the, the free jazz and improvised. Pourquoi avoir choisi d'appeler votre label Tombed Vision? The name Tomb Visions comes from a poem by the British poet Ted Hughes, uh, from a poem that he wrote called Two Legends, and I was instantly struck by the word Tomb Visions. Um, it was during a particularly angsty period of my life. Um, I think the connotations of that word now have taken on a completely different meaning with the artist that I'm representing on the label. And for me now, the word Tomb Visions really means that the, that the people that are issuing music on my, on my label are doing very considered um, and very thought out work. Historiquement, Manchester est une ville très musicale. Est-ce que c'est encore le cas en 2017? Manchester, for me, it's it's been one of the most amazing cities. Uh, coming from a small town uh, originally in Bletchley, which is near London, and there not being that many venues there, to, to come up to Manchester and have the ability to play in such a diverse array of music venues across the city, um, it's really meant that I've been able to explore. A, a huge amount of facets of, of music that I that I'm interested in, um, but have different venues to play that type of music in. And I think Manchester's going from strength to strength in terms of where people can play music, where people can put on gigs. Where a lot of other towns in sort of the north, they're seeing a real decline in venues here. So I mean, Manchester has been. I mean, I've been incredibly fortunate as a musician. Um, because of the abilities that a city like Manchester affords me and I think it's, it's easily, easily one of the best places to play music. 